Hello everyone, and this is part two of my questions and answers segment. Um, and now I'll we'll be actually answering the questions that were on the questions video. Uh, so, here we go. This is by... Okay, I'm sorry, I forget reading the names a lot. I'll have to get used to that. Red Bull 1296. How old are you? I'm 16. And why you make videos? Because you don't, don't without an apostrophe, have a lot of likes, dislikes, and viewers. You have like 100 views per vid, and in Uncharted 2, you got only a max of 40 views per vid. In your place, I would, I won't do these vids. Now, either you're not, you're not, uh, your native language is in English, which I, which I can accept. I'm totally open to other people, and I'm very grateful. If you're not American or or English, um, if you're, if your native language is in English, then I appreciate a lot that you're coming, that you're uh, talking and you're speaking in my language or writing in my language. Um, so I don't have to learn your language and write in your language. I appreciate that greatly. But if English is your first language, then you really should go to. You should really you should think about how you're speaking because that there's a lot of a lot of mistakes in there, spelling and also grammar. The, the, the whole thing is like one complete one complete sentence, which I, I, I it's it's really hard to read. Anyway, about your question, I do these videos because I like to do these videos, and that's the whole answer to that question. I like doing videos. Even if they get low views, of course I'd like to have more views, but I like doing the videos. Uh, there, there are a few people that, that, that are really hardcore fans of mine, and they really like my videos. Like Flyboy, um, who asked the question earlier. And that's the whole reason I do the videos. There's no other answer to it. Um, I like to do it, and this is when I respond, and I actually wrote a comment in response. I, I said, I'm 16, and I like what I do, so I would ask you not to question that. Okay, don't question what I do because I I like what I do. Even though I I am disappointed that I don't get views, I will most likely not stop doing it anytime soon. I I need you to answer this PLZ. Let's imagine you like some, you like guys. Please don't please try to write in full sentences. Not with this chat language. It really pisses me off. I'm sorry. Let's imagine you like something a lot with like five T's and. Oh, someone a lot, sorry. And she likes your best friend a lot, but he doesn't give a fuck about her. What do you suggest? I, I mean, you do. Okay, let me get this straight. She likes your best friend a lot. I like something, I like someone a lot. Like I said, this is a girl. Let's say she's called Ashley. I like her a lot. And she likes my best friend a lot. But she, he doesn't give a fuck about her. Well then, what, what, what would I do? Okay. First of all, the question is, does she like me back? Because if she likes me back, a friend doesn't give a fuck about her. But she likes his friend. If she likes me too, then I'd say, fuck my friend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get her. Okay? If she doesn't like me, then, uh, then, uh, we're in, we're in a little bit of a pickle there. Because my friend doesn't like her. The friend doesn't give a fuck about her. That first of all, that, that's that's not a nice thing to do, because if someone if someone uh, really likes you, you have to deal with that. It's not easy. I, I've had them do it before, but you have to deal with that, and it's not nice to just say, okay, I fuck you, you love me, I don't give a shit about you. Okay, that that's not the right thing to do. So I'd say, you know, I probably wouldn't be this guy's friend in the first place, by the sounds of it. But uh, if you wouldn't, do, if she would like me, I would go. I would go get her because he doesn't care. Um, she likes me too, so why not? And uh, I'd like you to follow up on this question. Actually, say you know, this what you're trying to describe here is a is a very complex situation, a very complex um, human situation that um, that happens a lot. But I I I'd ask you to elaborate and tell me a little more about the situation so I can answer the question more. Thoroughly, so I can like, I know, does she like me? Um, how much does she really like this guy? Does she like me as much as that guy? Um, you know, like, so basically that, that's the that's the whole uh, thing. By the way, this was also by Dog. He sent a lot, sent a lots of lots of good questions. Thank you, Dog. Uh, console gaming versus PC gaming, which is better in your opinion, and why? Very good question. I've been answering. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. 
And basically, my answer to that is none. You know? I really don't think one is better than the other. It's really a situation where you've got to look at... I used to think PC gaming is better in every way. I, I've gotten down from my high horse, and I, now, and I can now see that both have advantages. Since I've, been, I've done console playthroughs, really, and I've been playing on the console, uh, PS3. But I, uh, I, I appreciate that someone actually has asked this question, and uh, I can answer it. Console gaming is better for, first of all, for casual gamers. Like, if you don't want to get into the whole, you know, modding, getting the right PC, figuring out how games work is... Let's face it, if you're a hardcore gamer, you're going to have lots of problems on the PC, no matter what kind of PC you have. Uh, considering that the Mac doesn't have, uh, ha doesn't have adequate support for gaming, and once it will, it will have just as many problems. I don't believe that Mac is, is such a is such a high being that they will they will um, once Mac once everything is on Mac the the problems will be solved. It might be better than Windows, but it's not gonna it's not, never gonna solve all the problems of PC gaming. If you have if you're like a if you're like more upstanding uh, not upstanding but if you have more money like if you're older or if um, like me you're lucky and um, you know I spent a lot of money on my PC. I wouldn't do it again, honestly, because it was very expensive. It, it really cut in, into my money. I got a lot paid by, you know, I, I spent my Christmas, I spent a lot of Christmas and my birthday, um, you know, wishing for these, uh, wanting these. This PC was really a thing I devoted a lot of my time to getting this PC. That's the only reason I got it. And um, so basically, uh, by, by the way, it was, it was about like a thousand one hundred euro, which I would say is a thousand five hundred dollars, which is a lot of money, and it's still there's still a lot of problems with it, which I don't I don't think are acceptable, but that's probably because I built it. Anyway, pros of PC gaming. Uh, the modding you can put, if you're if you're like if you're a person that likes to play one game or a couple games and you like to play those seriously, then I'd really go for PC. Of course, considering that you have the money for PC gaming. If you don't have the money for PC gaming, go for console gaming. And the reason I'm, I'm doing this, uh, I'm, I'm portraying this as an argument for both, for like, if you can't decide what to do, or if you can't decide what's better. If you don't have the money, console gaming is the way to go, no matter what. Because you can't, because uh, a lot of people don't, like, I don't have to pay for my clothes, I don't have to pay for utilities, I don't have to pay for food, I don't have to pay for rent. I don't have to pay for anything but my personal belongings, like my technology, um, my yeah. That's, I don't have to pay for anything because my parents pay for that. But once I once I get out of that, I will I will not have a, as easy of a way until I get a good good job. When I get out of college and I get a good job, I will probably be able to pay it. But if you're in that if you're in that place, if you're like if you're like a college person. Then you know if you don't have the, simply if you don't have the money that's what I'm basically trying to say if you don't have the money go with console gaming that's better. Um, the people that say console gaming or PC gaming is a lot better they can go screw themselves because it's not true it's simply not. There are pros and cons to both. It's the way with a lot of things in life. One is not necessarily better better than the other. You, there are pros and cons to everything and you need to consider it based on the situation you're in. Now I'm a very hardcore gamer, so I have both console and and PC. But the 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 let me get back to the pros and cons. I keep getting sidetracked. The pros and cons of PC and console are PC ha PC is very good for modding. If you want to play one game, let's say you want to play Team Fortress 2 or World of Warcraft, then you can really do that very well on the PC because you can mod it. You can you can have your your clan, uh, you can have your team speak, uh, like if you're in, you're in World of Warcraft, you can have your team speak open at the same time. If you're in Team Fortress 2, you can, you know, you can use the, the, the chat, or you can use the the voice chat, you can use the, I guess you can do that on consoles too. Team Fortress 2 doesn't even exist on console, but I'm using it as an example. You can mod the game. PC gaming has a lot of games that you can mod, you can mod the inter interface, make it completely different. You can mod the servers so that you can change the game type completely. You can change the game completely, like I've seen in, in many of the of the Valve games. Um, so that's a very big plus for PC gaming. 
But if you want a seriously PC game, you really have to have the money to get a good PC, or otherwise, it's in my opinion, it's not worth it to get like play the games on lower graphics because then then the consoles are just superior. The console gaming is good if you have a lower budget, if you just want to sit there with a controller and play the. Like, I personally think the control scheme for for consoles is in most cases better. I like the I like the mouse and keyboard as a control scheme. I think it's better, but you can't sit back. Oh, let me let me get my controller. You can't sit back with your controller and just you can, you can sit back with your controller and just oh, okay. Let me sit down here and I'm gonna play the game. I'm gonna all the controls are on this control controller. Yeah, you can sit you can just sit in your chair or on your couch and play the game. Whereas your PC, you have to have a surface where you put your mouse and keyboard on, and it's kind of you need to have the perfect condition to get a good to get a good um, uh, you can get an environment where you can play correctly. Because if if your mouse or keyboard is influenced by the environment, then you can't play at full scale, and you can't play as effectively as you need to be need to be able to play. Because games are counting on you to be able to play in that way. So basically, if you have an environment where you can make you can make a good environment for PC gaming, then I think you should definitely go for you should definitely consider PC gaming. Um, not go for it necessarily, but if you if you only have like if you don't want to mess with all that and you, you don't want to get you have to get to get a good mouse you have to get a decent keyboard to make everything you have to get a good mouse pad you have to get a good headset you have to make sure all of that is correct and for console all you need is is speakers a console a good t television or a good monitor which is which is what you need for the PC too and you can you can get going now. Console also has a big advantage because it's the mainstream gaming. Con the consoles are mainstream right now more than PC uh, in, in, in relative to gaming because more people, obviously, there are more sales on it, so games are catered to consoles. The best example would be Call of Duty, Black Ops. The PC gamers on Call of Duty got totally screwed. The matchmaking system sucked, the servers sucked, the, you couldn't play all game modes, like you couldn't play all the wager modes. There are, all these, there are all these extra modes on, on Call of Duty Black Ops on the consoles that you can't play on the PC. Like bare bones and like the ex the, you can't pick your wager mode. And it, it's, it's, you can't, you can't bet, there's only one price point where you can bet at. You only can bet like a certain amount. You can't play like these 10,000 matches where there's lots of stake. Or you can't play these little matches with $10 or 10 con points where you can, you, know, you, just, you just have fun and practice the mode. No, there's one specific price point. So that's that's the thing. It's a good example. Most people cater towards the the console audience, and they screw the PC gamers over by making it different and not investing the time in it. Simply because they can, and because no one no one will do anything about it, because, or no one will do anything substantial about it, because the console gamers have so much more of a uh, there's so much more of a market for console gamers. Um, so that's basically a big, big upside for consoles. Of course, the price is a big upside for PC. The game, actually, the actual price of the games is, is mostly cheaper for PC. Uh, consoles mostly sixty dollars. Uh, PC is mostly fifty dollars, and you get more. Like the Witcher Two, a PC only RPG, you get all this shit with it. Like if you get the retail version, not if you get the download version, you get the same thing. But you get all these maps and all this, all this extra content. You basically got a collector's edition for the for fifty dollars, which is below the price point of a normal retail game. So basically, there there you go. Uh, I outlined a lot of the pros and cons of console gaming versus PC gaming. If you'd like me to follow up on this more, I can do a whole show. I can do a whole I can do a whole episode on this, a whole um, a whole video on this. If you'd like me to do that, please post in the comments and and tell me that I'll do it on my on my on my future on my future new channel. So basically, yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know how much time I currently have left, but in this, or how much time I've already used up in this video, but I'm going to make a cut here, and I'm going to continue in the next part, because uh, this is, I think this has gotten quite long already. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part.